Hi, I am Hemant and in this video, I am going to introduce you to the flash processing extension called JSLinter. You can download JSLinter from my blog. So JSLinter is an extension for static analysis of JavaScript written on the timeline of the newly added HTML canvas document in Flash Pro CC 13.1. Let me show you how JSLinter works and how useful it is. So, here is a HTML canvas document and, is, and in this document you can see I have quite colorful content on stage and also there are quite a few scripts written on timeline. So this script does nothing but when I click on this particular character, the character shivers. Now let me publish my content. Oh, my stage is blank. Why is my stage blank? Let me explore its source from the dev tools. Ah, there are two errors. Let me check them out. There is some unexpected identifier in the JavaScript file published. And even browser is unable to find out the exact error here. So let us see if there is some problem in the script we have written. It is difficult to find out the errors to the naked eye, right? So this is where the JSLinter extension comes to help. So let me open the JSLinter extension. After installing the JSLinter extension using the extension manager CC, you will find it under Windows, Extensions, JSLinter. So this linter which you see, this extension panel which you see here is a JSLinter extension. So let me run JSLinter. So JSLinter can be run by clicking on the play button here or JSLinter runs automatically whenever the panel is open and you save your HTML canvas document. Let me now click on this play button. Oh, there are seven warnings or errors. Let me click on the first one. Ah. So as you can see, JSLinter panel tells you the location of the error and also the description. The description is, there is an unmatched open brace. Ah, as you can see in this function, I will not close the brace. So let me close it. So as I told, when you when I click on the particular warning, it take uh, select that particular line, just like the compile elements panel used to do in the S3 document. So now I have added this brace and let me save it. Let me save the document. As I told you, JSLinter runs automatically whenever you save your document. As you can see, now there are only six warnings. So let me go through. There is some unexpected assignment of function call. Sets or let me click on it and go to that particular line. Ah, there you go. I have not closed the particular bracket here. Let me close it. I think all these warnings are related to that. And let me save it. Ah, all my errors are gone. And JSON tells me there are no warnings. Let me see if it is true and publish the document. Yeah, my document works fine now. No errors. So, you saw right? How useful JSLinter is. It removes a lot of frustration of seeing the warnings only in the dev tools of the browser after publishing. JSLinter shows the errors right during your author time. Hope this will be useful to you. Thanks for watching the video.